Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, I think that it's important to be diversified. I think that, um, I think there are, I have plenty of good section eight tenants. I do. What you find is, is that, you know, of the 20 something, 20 or so that we have, you'll find a density of the dipshits. You will just, you will. And the issue is, is that the 80% of the section eight tenants are great. They're great tenants. They just have a much higher incident rate of people with issues that like to make their issues, your issues. And so it's these four or five people that just load it up and create issue because they don't have anything else to do. They call the city, they call code enforcement, they call housing, they call the administration of health. Like, come on guys, stop wasting resources. Don't you think you take enough getting paid to live somewhere? Really? Like, and that's the thing is it gives the program a bad name. And that's what I don't like about it. Because a lot of people would listen to my story and think, nope, never section eight, never, ever. I just want you to be aware that if you have these processes and you have these things in place, largely speaking, my experience is very good, largely speaking. But that's also due to the HCV specialists that I'm working with on the phone and that I'm going and meeting in person. This is very much, it has everything to do with them. If they allow a tenant to act like an insolent child, then that's always going to be a problem and you're never going to get anywhere and you're always going to be fighting city hall. And that's not a place any of us should be. My good buddy, Dion, uh, who you know manages his own properties and Mike, who manages his own properties and interacts directly with Section 8, that's why, I, that's why I separate them out is because they're the ones working directly with Section 8. They know exactly what that conversation needs to be and exactly what the opportunity is that they can kind of talk through. So that part is really, really important. And when you find, and Dion's found one of the towns that, uh, one of the counties that he invests in doesn't make any sense to do section eight because they turn a deaf ear to it and then blind eye. And you, this, you know, if you're taking that program, it needs to be a team sport. I'm not a social worker and many of those people need assistance. Many of them do not all, but some, many of them do. It's Okay. We've all had tough times in our lives and some people that tough time sticks around for longer. Not giving them a hard time because of that, but I recognize what the HCV specialist is going through and it makes it hard. Makes it hard. But there are people that should absolutely not have vouchers. 